hair growth. It helps promote blood circulation, which in turn helps promote hair growth. Careful, it's really spicy, but just throw it on your food. It'll taste great. This bag cost me about $5. The next product I have been and will be using is Rosemary Essential Oil. It promotes hair growth, and once you put it on, it starts tingling your scalp so you can really feel it working. Since it's so strong, I'm going to be mixing it with either lavender oil or my flaxseed gel. This bottle cost me about $10. It's kind of pricey, but it lasts you a while. I'm also going to be taking one of these suckers every day. They're maximum strength, so I'm going to drink a ton of water while I'm taking these so I don't break out. This bottle was $10. Vajika oil is great. It's a version of coconut oil. And coconut oil is one of the only oils that penetrate into the hair shaft to provide shine from within. This bottle is just $3. Jojoba oil is pretty much essential for growing your hair. It really softens the hair. And it's great for mixing with other oils. This bottle was a whopping $10, but you can definitely find something cheaper. And that's what I'm planning on doing. I hate swallowing a ton of these a day, but it's really good for your immune system and your hair and your skin. You really can't go wrong with vitamin C. By the way, before I go, don't forget what's happening in the Horn of Africa. 12 million people are suffering from a severe drought. 50 cents can save a kid for one day. If you can give, please do so. Thanks. Thank you. 